Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. Happy Monday to you. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm Lynn from Ellen J. Goods. Ellen J. Goods is a brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York, Western New York, between Buffalo and Rochester, not too far from Canada. And we are so excited to have you here today. If you're watching us today, you know that we are streaming live to Facebook and to YouTube. And you can also catch this replay over on our website, ellenjgoods.com. So we're glad you're here today. This is a much anticipated project today because we're doing the Fairy Pumpkin House today. I gave a sneak peek of this on Friday. I shared a little bit of it in a reel over on Instagram, but um, these are super fun, and I think you're really going to enjoy this one last minute fall decor item. But honest to goodness, you could use this all, all I mean, the or time. just also bringing it out next year, all the way through things. I'd like to keep fall things out till Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Personally. I get it. I, I do too. So say hi to Megan. She's here. Hi. And Megan, why don't you say hi to some folks we have with I us today? I am not logged on yet. You're honey, not. So oh I my. will say hi oh in general. Oh my goodness. And I will let you know that there I made a collection for today with the same title as this video and the date. You can find it on our website in the drop down menu. Under featured on our live tutorials, you can find it in the description on Facebook or on YouTube. And you can find it if you're watching this video on our website, just to the right of the video. And you'll find everything mom is using here today in that That's collection. Exactly right. And we appreciate you doing that for us. Of course. We certainly do. This isn't breaking news, but there may be some new people here today that I don't know I wonder if that. there are, is anybody is new anybody today? here? It's just, I won't embarrass just you. For but the just put a little, little hands up. Little hands if up. You've never, Say hi. If you've never yeah. watched before, if it's your first time. Or maybe if you have been watching a long time, but you've never said hi before. <gasps> Ooh, I know I'm, there are I'm, some of you do. Well, I'm watching one of those that. people. I watch things and I don't say mm -hmm. hi, but. Here's how I, I know. Like do you want to know how I know, Megan? Oh. Okay, so if you look, when we look at the views on our, um, our live streams, I'm thinking, okay, two, three thousand, but then we might only have a hundred likes that's a lot of you that are checking in and watching and and not giving us that thumbs up maybe they don't like it maybe they don't you're right so i guess no thumbs up is better than a thumbs down <laughs> yes <laughs> only positive but we only want positive please just move right along if you don't like us oh, that's okay i know not megan's over does. there literally like mom no you don't know <laughs> I mean, of course, I want everyone to like it. Of course. Well, thank you. Today is um, an exciting day because we are going to be working on that fairy pumpkin house. And um, I don't know, I saw a bunch of them on Pinterest and shared some pictures. I'm like, okay, I got to like get my brain box going and figure out how to do this. Get that brain box going. Exactly. Let's and so today ideas. we yeah. are going to... We're going to do one. So what you need is um, the carvable pumpkins. And they have to say carvable, like the carvable craft pumpkins. I think you can find them online. Oh, I'm sure you can. But here's what's what makes these different than a regular foam pumpkin is that they're hollow on the inside. So you can use your favorite pumpkin carving tools and we can carve out these little windows and the door openings and so forth and so on. What are your favorite pumpkin carving tools? Mine? Oh, you're not going to believe it. Guess what I've been using. Oh, heaven forbid. I have to have it here. It's a very important tool. Um, a paring knife. Okay, that's pretty much what Did I, I use. Take it home and leave it there. <gasps> our shop paring knife, our only paring yes! knife. <laughs> that's unacceptable because we only have one. Oh my god! We have exactly two knives here. A, a huge serrated bread knife. <laughs> Can 
<laughs> and one paring knife, and I don't know why we have that huge bread knife. Well, you could probably guess, use that. I guess you could also use a craft, um, a, a, an exacto knife. So maybe you should grab that for me. That might be a little bit safer to use. Oh my goodness! So, can you grab me my mm -hmm. crafting knife over there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We'll just use that. Um, and so this is this is also a carvable pumpkin. It's hollow on the inside. So I I did this little one, and now we're gonna do this one. We'll be using the IOD um, hidden hollow, right? Hidden hollow. Hidden hollow. Yep. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to create that window right here. There's a little window in the door because, I mean, a fairy pumpkin has to have lots of little yes. peaky, hidey, peaky, outy holes, yes. right? Lots of little, little things. Because That's so cute. a little fairy might poke its little pop. Yeah, somebody's little head knocking out. at the door. They need to peek That's out. Right. Who's See? that knocking yes. at my door? All right. Well. I'm getting over this COVID thing, and okay. I'm telling you, my brain is God you are. so much in a fog. <laughs> I, I just, pure exhaustion. Yeah. Okay, so let's flip the camera down, because I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> just rambling. Is that a symptom of COVID? It could rambling? be. It could be. And we're going to start with um, our doors here. Sorry, Leslie said any thumbs is good for the algorithm. Is thumbs up or right? thumbs down? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Who knew? Leslie. Leslie knew, right. Leslie, are you available for a consultation? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pour this door with resin, okay? Um, and I'm gonna tell you how I did my first hole in the door here because this is like that little arched door that has the stone trim around it and I'll talk about that today and how I did that even though uh, we well I don't know we might do that who knows so what I did is after I cast my resin door I literally took a drill and I drilled out this circle area so I just did little drill marks all the way around in an oval shape and then I popped it out, okay? Then I took sandpaper and sanded the edges smooth. So sorry. So, Very yes, of course, Megan got here today and I was asking JR, did he have like a hole saw? Did he hit? He said, well, I have a Forsner bit. And I'm like, well, who's going to use a Forsner Explain how you bit? did this one. I just did explain. I apologize. I um, was distracted. So, because I thought, well, if, if I have like a little hole saw, you know, like the little hole drill bit, I could just and write down through it, which you could do. But then Megan popped in, just happened to walk right in just in the midst of right this in, conversation problems. and said, um, why don't you just make a dam with hot glue? Because I think it was Stephanie last week who asked about making a smaller tree out of the new Christmas tree mold. And you mentioned making a hot glue dam. Yeah. Because I will tell you, before that, I never knew of such a thing. Yeah. So we're going to do that right now. So we can get that window, that little window, in our door. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start filling this in with hot glue. And I'm going to make my circle. I just want to make sure that I get that glue so that it fills in. All the little nooks and crannies. And what I want is I want my outside edge to be that nice circle shape. So smart. That's a good idea. Corinne said she finally started making her Halloween shadow box. She's going to do another fall paper on the flip side for after Halloween. And I think I'll do the same with each removable backing for each season. That's a great idea. We'll have to let the group so know that good, tonight. So good, Corinne. Yeah. Corinne's talking about our seasonal shadow box class that's happening. 
We've already done one session. There's another session tonight, but even if you miss the first session or can't be there tonight, you can still join us. There's two more sessions and you have access to all of that content forever whenever you join the class, even if you join a year from now. So I'm creating, what I'm creating is just a little edge here and then I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, and I'll get all my strings off of there. Then I'm gonna pour my resin. Hi, Laura Hall. Hi, Laura. Could you use clay for the dam too, Mary asks. Uh, I'm afraid you know, that would stick to the resin. Yeah, I'm. we want the glue because it is gonna kind of stick on the, um, the silicone, okay? I don't know that the clay would stick as well. Jars is feeling better, Nina. He said he was at about 75%, he told me, was what he... He said actually between 70 and 75%. Oh, is that right? Assessment. That was his assessment. Wow. Himself. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, that must be our UPS guy. Okay, so I'm just going to mix up some two-part resin. And we do have this on our website. I don't have the tan. The tan is not available in these smaller sizes. At a, I think at a reasonable price. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't because matter because you're gonna we're gonna paint it. it. So I just we buy ours by the gallon. So Leslie, yes, I think you're right. She's like any kind of like thumbs up, thumbs down, anything is just signifies engagement. Yeah. With your channel, so that is why we ask for likes. They are free. And it helps us pop up in more people's feeds, you know, yep. so they can see what we're up to. Yes, she had COVID. JR had COVID. Yeah. I still have never had COVID. And I don't even say that like I'm worried I'm going to be jinxed anymore because I believe, I truly believe I'm immune. I have been surrounded. You have. Yeah. Left, right, and center. So I'm going to stir my two-part resin until it begins to feel a little warm to the touch. That's when we know it's ready to pour. So Barbara, the hot glue first is because she's making a little window in the door. So she wants to... I have it right here. Yep. You'll, sure. you'll see. Yep. You will see. Okay, so I'm mixing this and mixing. I want it completely thoroughly mixed. And then when I begin to feel that it's a little bit warm to the touch, I know that it's time to pour it into my mold. And this stuff casts, or this stuff hardens up pretty quickly, usually within um, 10 to 20 minutes, I would say. I did knock on wood, John, but I'm telling you. So I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna pour from the outside first, or around the outside, and then I'll start to fill in here, right around that hot glue dam. Hey, Kat. Now it's not gonna be a perfect circle, but it's definitely going to um, make creating that window a little more manageable for those of us that don't have a Forstner bit. Yeah. Right. Or even know what that is. Right, exactly. And I want to go right up to that micro rim edge. And that is it. Now, typically, what I'll do, let me grab my... No, that's just a tan resin she's using. But you really can use any resin here. You're going to be painting it anyway. Before this sets up, I'm just going to fill a few of my Harper molds. Yeah. So want to explain why you do that, Mom? I do this because I don't want to waste it. Yep. It is still amazing casting resin. It's just tan. Yeah. That's the only, that's the yep. only thing. I think we just ran out of our big jugs of white, right? And that's why you're No, I just, I have both, and I'm... 
Shout out to the IOD stockist, whoever it is, I can't remember who, shared about um, this technique of pouring that resin and just spreading it around with a stick to fill in these empty spaces. And I'll tell you what, all of a sudden I Harper and Victoria became two of my favorites ever. I don't think Pigment Fix comes in different sizes, Deborah, but I'll look for you right now. Are you looking for a smaller size or a bigger size? Sure doesn't take a lot of this. Someone was just asking me recently about the smaller size of the red velvet powder, and that is back, I do have that back in stock. All right, so there we go. You can see that this is setting up already. We're gonna put that aside for a minute. I'm gonna tell you how I prepped my pumpkin. My pumpkin is painted with fusion mineral paint and it is, uh, I used cashmere. And again, you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, for this guy, I actually used Debbie's DIY Summer Crush and white swan and I mixed up kind of a real pale peachy flesh tone as Megan says. I thought she was carrying a human skull when I came upstairs. I got the fright of my life. So what I did is I also mixed my paint with fusion fresco. Hi Gia. Hi Gia. It looks like pigment thick just comes in the 100 milliliter size, Deborah. That pigment fix, I'm, I'm telling you, that is the most magical thing. So I can mix my Fresco, which is a texturizing powder, with the paint, and I make it nice and chunky. But I'll just show you, um, for the heck of it, like nice and chunky. See that? And let me spread a little bit of extra on here. I do want nice texture I'm not going to do a lot of this because I already did a coat but then another thing that I do to create a little extra texture because as I was looking at actual pumpkins you know how they have that kind of veiny look on them do you know what I mean mm -hmm. Megan so um I actually created that just with my brush by taking my the flat of my brush and just here and there, moving it, kind of pressing it into that wet paint. This is what the people come here for, those little things that you do like that, Mom. And see that? See that? It creates like these little veiny kind of... Like, how did you even figure that out? I don't know. I Isn't just, she smart? I just did it. I just did it. Corinne just said, I say it all the time, but you truly are an artistic genius. You know how to oh. use products in and outside their expected uses, and it all works so well. And that is a perfect example of it, what you just Thank did. Thank you, Corinne. Yeah, I'm, I always... You know, you, anyway, you don't know until you try, right? Right? But I want you to see this up close. I hope that you can see that texture. It's just that yeah, little so bit cool. of extra realism. Those spidery kind of vein type things that happen on there. So I, cool. I really love using the texture powder in the paint too because there's something in there that really does help it to adhere better as well. So um, let me give that a quick dry and then we're gonna go ahead and release the mold. <laughs> Fusion paint is a 
amazing she just finished painting her ugly backsplash with fusion. Oh, isn't that true? And I, so I gotta cool. tell you, I have been feeling like I am missing painting a piece of furniture. Yeah. We gotta get the basement again. Yeah. Maybe next week. Yeah. be asking Lynn what happened to the top Lynn, of your what nice. happened to the top of your pumpkin well I already removed the top stem of my pumpkin it's a big fat ugly stem she okay. doesn't like it it was she's very particular I, I think I threw it away so I, I didn't even have to show you guys it's just hideous. She wanted they're, it out of her they're sight. They're big and chunky and fat and so what I did is I just took my knife I had that knife because I cut my pumpkin stem off today. Well, hmm. nothing better than a mysterious hidden knife around the shop. <laughs> it's got to be where here put a put it on here. <laughs> Anyway, so I sliced that off and then um, I just painted over top of it. Because what I want to do is, and here you go ladies, been doing this for years. In fact, I put my friends at a uh, sourced, like, hey. I will come before you get rid of those pumpkins. I want to come and pop off all those stems yeah. before you throw them in the field. All the leftovers, I want those pumpkin stems. Pumpkin. And these are dried pumpkin stems. So I'm going to be adding that, right, gluing that right on, onto the top later. And I just think it adds a little more realism. And I'll add a little bit of moss and some different things on the top here as well. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. It's still a little warm. Actually, it's hot to the touch, so it's not ready to unmold yet. You can tell when it's ready, when it just pops right away from the edge of the mold. Oh, there it goes. But it's not quite ready, so I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, and we're gonna trace out where the door goes. And what are we cutting it with? We're going to cut it with... Oh, um, yeah, your artist. Yes, yeah, your can, artist knife. I can just use a nice a box cutter or crafting knife, or you can use a paring knife. Okay. So I want to... Um, Althea says the cozy elf home in the recent John Dark Living magazine is so adorable. Oh, my gosh. And that's probably where I first saw them and wanted to, like, okay, I got to do this, you know? But, um, and I'll tell you, I that Christmas edition is so beautiful. Yeah, I think we still have some left. We do have some. And then, I'll add it to the, I'll add it to the collection. For yeah, change. and then in a few weeks, we're actually going to go through our... The book. The book. I'm going to do some projects from the uh, Creative Christmas book. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to lay this flat, and I'll kind of prop it. So that it doesn't go anywhere. I have a pencil and then I have my door. So I'm going to just roughly trace around my door. It's okay if it's a little smaller than the door shape itself because we can always continue to carve out um, to make a bigger door. So and I'm just going to go into this. Please be careful. Tracy said, I've been collecting pumpkin stems and larger squash stems since last year in the pumpkin urn class. Yeah. The neighborhood <laughs> kids for their jack-o'-lantern stems after Halloween last year. Great. That's right. When people, like, put them out on your street, they throw away those pumpkins, go grab Honestly, them. Honestly, it would be smart if you get trick-or-treaters to say it's a trade for a treat. You trade me your pumpkin stem, and I'll give you a candy. <laughs> I know, right? Kelly goes, she uses, like, big, fat branches. Yes, you can do that, too. Are, are a lot of you joining us for our shadow box class tonight? Oh, this I'm be a good one. excited. This is a total winter, winter shadow box. I pinned the um, 
I pinned that in the comments. If anybody's interested, you can still join us um, from now until forever, mm -hmm. but it, you can join us live for tonight's class. Almost there. Just take your time with it to make sure that you're not going to slice your thumb off. Yeah, please, on please. Right on time for Halloween. <laughs> and let me tell you what, I got a bone to pick with Tim Holtz. Uh-oh. A bo skull and bones? Or boneyard? <laughs> this kind of bone to pick. What? These are a pain in the neck. A pain in the butt. <laughs> Paint doesn't want to stick to plastic. I have d used Ultra Grip. I've spent too much time on these well, silly maybe he used little wooden, skellies. Wooden little skeletons. No, he used ones from the dollar store. We sell the book, Leslie, the Creative Christmas book. I'll give you a link. So then you can just, you know, trim out... Okay, now let's grab, let's unmold this, and here we go. See, here's your hot glue. We're going to pop that right out. Look at that. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Now, the other thing that I did is um, I bent mine a little while it's still soft so that it conforms. It depends on what um, your pump, it depends on how big your pumpkin is, but I do like it to kind of curve just a little bit. So what I did is, I might just... What I did is I just took some tape and I taped it in place. Smart. Okay. Now this one has more of a curve to it. I can I can press that back out. And again, it depends on how big your um, your pumpkin is as far as what kind of curvature you're going to have on that door. Welcome, Leah. Oh, Vern, once again, is keeping her at work late. I hope he's feeling better for your sake. Aww. Um, okay. Beth said maybe tape the door to the piece of pumpkin that you cut out. That's a good idea, Duh, too. That's a great idea. Great idea, but see how that would be this too is easy. a smaller pumpkin, so it has more of a curve to it. So I'll put this aside for another one, but then I have this guy. But the one that you cut out for this pumpkin, Oh yeah, that would shape yeah. it perfectly. Yeah, you're right. Beth, thank Beth, you. Beth, seriously? You. Oh my gosh. You are something, girl. You are something. Okay. Sometimes the simplest things just you don't think of, you know? And you know what? And if you don't want to use this, you can just use this. And Liz said you can heat with the heat gun and reshape the resin. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So I'm waiting for this to cool just a little bit. I know that I've got about the shape that I want here. I'm trying to keep and focus y'all yeah. actually this is just about perfect all right so that's going to be good right there now i'm just going to tape that on there for a second if i can because as soon as this cures a little bit more i'm going to sand out that opening actually no you know what i need to do i need to paint this Let's paint it. Let's paint it. Let's paint it. <laughs> Today in the car, Levon said something funny to me. And I love things like this. And everybody has little stories like this in your life. He just, it just, he just realized what BO stands for. Oh, body odor? Yes. And he said he'd always been afraid to say it because he thought perhaps it was initials for something like a bad word. <sighs> he said, you know, like BS. Oh, but he, so but he like, just couldn't think of what that no, was. I said, why, honey, why did you just ask 
me. <laughs> but you know, we all have little things like that. Some, and it's like you sometimes go into like adulthood, and you're like, oh, I never knew that. <laughs> like, it, does anybody have a funny story like that? A little thing that you just never, you never knew that it seems like everybody else. And Henry was like, yeah, I knew that. Oh, that's so funny. Um, so you can, you know, any little leftover bit of resin that's here you can sand it or you can shape it with your craft knife while that is still soft makes it kind of nice makes it kind of hey, nice And Brynn said heat it with the gun so you don't break it. Yeah, it's really soft still, so Just don't really don't want you to cut your hands. Your no, precious we're good. Hands. We're good. I have them insured for six million dollars. Oh, no. that's, <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be a great idea. Okay, so there's our little little peaky hole there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a quick coat of paint. I'm just gonna use the same uh, fresco and paint mixture just to get that on there. And we'll dry it. So we'll at least get that drying for now, and then we'll cut our windows out. <laughs> Kat said she thought hit it and quit it meant hit the hay and quit the day. What? And, and in our hearts, that's what it will mean always. That's a that's what it, that's an ex perfect example though of what I mean. Like where you think a phrase means one thing, but it, you find out it means another thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's cut a few more little little windows out. So I'm just gonna quickly do just a couple little rectangles. You can do as many as you want. So I'll put one there and I'll put one down here. And then we will cut those out. Now I got fancy and I did some little circle ones here. Hey Kathy. Is there anything that can make this safer I'm wondering? <laughs> Not I just the, well, the one hand being shoved inside the pumpkin and the other one stabbing is. It's no I'm my fingers are plenty out of the way. It's nerve-wracking to watch. It makes me it really is. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll do this one. This is a spectacular in and of itself. Gee, wish, wish I had some fake blood right now. Like one of those squirty blood packs. That would totally oh my freak God. everyone out. out. They? I don't like watching my mom with this knife, Leah. It's less about issues with carving the pumpkins and more about... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I feel weak watching her do it. Oh my god. It makes me so. Okay. So before I trim these guys out, I want to um I'm gonna add some little little cross members in the window, some window panes. So this morning I just grabbed these sticks from the yard 
And did you get acorns? I did not. Yeah, those little saws they sell for real pumpkins. Exactly. So those would be great. Yeah, yeah, they would be. And then I'm gonna glue. Oh, Althea said, "How about using the window frames from Tim Holtz?" You could do that too. I did actually try that, but the frame they were not quite big enough. So I'm gonna pop that. I like the natural element of this. I do too. Yeah, yeah I do too. I think this one, I might try to make it Thank just you so much, Heather. the size of that. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, every time I do something like it's this, it's so, so adorable. Just that little, that one little thing is so cute. Yep. So we're gonna have one to the outside and then one on the inside. So I'll glue the two ends and then pop these inside. Hold it until that glue sets up. I know I was gonna go ahead and try to like trim this away <laughs> one-handed, but no, I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. Please don't. No. Do you want to show while you're waiting? Want to show the shadow box, or do you have it? Not yeah, it's just I need both hands okay. to do this. So I'm just, I need a little more glue down in there. Okay, and then this guy trim just a little bit off. true Liz said it's just too cute that's why I love minis you can create and create it's so much fun it really is so yes. much fun uh, the outdoor shopping list is stems and sticks and I would get some little acorns oh I know I thought didn't you say Katie Oaks had some she said there's a tree right across the street from her house were you expecting her to pick them and deliver them I, to I was I know when she She's said very when busy. do you need them by I said now well she was she's at work so <laughs> And it's harvest season, so she works literally every day and night. I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But it's right there on Park Ave. Okay. Then after I wax this, um, I'm going to add these little guys to trim out the windows. Now, what you can do, it, this is where you can either keep it really simple or, you know, you get to embellish however you want to. Um, for this guy, I actually created a little trim all the way around the outside of the door. And I'm thinking maybe I would like to do that. Um, but I'll show you how I did it, okay? I'll show you how I did it, and then we'll, we'll decide if I want it on there. So we have some air dry clay. I'm just going to take a little chunk of that. And you could also use any trimmings mold that you want. Just depends on oh, how yeah. fancy you want to get. We'll have lights inside, Liz. Mm -hmm. She's asking if there'll be lights inside. Oh, yes. yeah. And I roll a little snake, maybe about a half inch in diameter. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this out. Then 
That's a good idea, Stephanie, to use the trim molds for the windows. You can. There, you can do as little or as much as you want to embellish this. And then what I did is I glued this on here. I know, I'm surprised you didn't use one of the trimmings molds. No, I wanted, um, I didn't want, I wanted something to look more, just more like. Organic. Organic, I wasn't yeah. sure if there was a trimmings that had like a stony looking. No. Nope. All right, and I just trimmed this off. I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to, I will come back to this and, and glue this on later. But um, because I, I need to drill my um, hinges on, for underneath this before I glue this back on. Aunt Karen's here, and this is right up her alley. Right up her alley. Okay. Speaking of Aunt Karen's alley, that's where my aunt lived, was very close by to us, so I could ride my bike to her house anytime I wanted when I was young. And I still don't know the name of her street. It's always just been Aunt Karen's Alley. The to alley. me. Yep, me what alley. is it called? I'll never know. And I'm sure I've been told a hundred times that I just... So after I would glue this in place, I would do it... Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to show you guys. Um... Because I hinged mine here, but I'm not ready to do that yet. We'll come back to this. How about that? We'll just come back to it. I'm going to set that aside, and then we'll come back. All right. Um, while we have this out, or while we have our... That color is so pretty. The yeah, it color. is. Um, I'm just going to quickly dry this. And again, you can get as detailed as you like. Tracy says she wonders if using one of the Portobello Road stone stamps to texture the trim clay. Smart. Do you get that? Yeah. You have one open, right? I don't know if I have one open. But what I did, like, because I made chunkier ones to match these right here, Tracy. So what I did here is... I just used a tongue depressor and I cut in those little brick shapes. All right, that's what I did. But that's so smart. Yeah. So you could do that, absolutely. Megan's grabbing the Portobello Road. I just don't want to open one if you have one open. Here, actually, we have one sitting out there. Yeah, I should have one somewhere back there. But I mean, we have them sitting out on the floor open. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of Woodwick paint. Let's get this door finished so that we can get that on here. This is called Woodwick. And I'm going to grab also a little bit of chocolate paint. Both of these are fusion. And again, you can just paint these however you want. I just like that mix here. So I'm going to paint the entire door with that mix of Woodwick and chocolate. Well, I feel like I was looking at that for weeks, and now... Well, don't worry about it. Well, I want to show it. It's, are you sure it's not up with my... It, it's not in any of the sleeves. Oh, here it is. Oh, this isn't even portable world. That's gross. I don't think you opened one. Well, I got one from IOD, and so it's back but, there somewhere. Well, can I just grab another one? Yeah. And then you can decide if you want to. I love the stamp. The Portobello Road. Yes. I, you know, I have I not used it yet. I'm dying, dying to. to. Yes. Yeah. Just... Laura Hall sent us a card where she just very simply stamped a couple things from it, and it looked so cute. 
This is not a real pumpkin, no. This is a carvable pumpkin. She made the door with a hidden hollow mold, Aunt Karen. It's an IOD mold. Liz Clark says the Philadelphia Miniature Show is in November. She's submitting two minis, a flower <gasps> shop and a gazebo. Oh. But it's the vendors that make this show so incredible. Everything mini. Oh, my gosh. What a dream. Can you imagine? I am going to make it to a miniature show someday. I would also love to go to a cat show. Really? I think it's fascinating. Yes, we have it, Aunt Karen. If you look at the um, the collection I made that's in the the description on here on Facebook, it's I listed it in there. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm just gonna while this is still wet on here, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull back some of that paint just to reveal those edges. But look at the look at the um, aging that that gives that brings out that detail that's a really simple way to yeah. highlight some of these areas okay and there it is and then of course if you want to you can um, you know, you can use, uh, you can paint all of this. I'm not going to because, again, it's like, okay, if I have this sitting, like, in an urn on my porch, it's, it's whatever amount of detail you want, I guess. And my thought was, I'm not going to paint all these tiny little leaves. Um, I'll dab a little bit of uh, this mossy green kind of color. Um, you could use Pentart Moss Effects, um, but this is a carriage house. So choose any kind of a sagey green. Oh my gosh, my three sons says, could you make a gingerbread pumpkin house for Christmas? Oh, how that cute. Be cute. But look, you can literally, just to give this a little more background texture, Again, I'm not going to go through, I'm just not the one that's going to go in and literally hand paint every one of these leaves. Just not doing it. Wow. That's where she draws the line. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's not doing it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I tell you, after, after those uh, skellies. I think moss effects would look very moss cool Moss effects right would there. look really cool. But I'm just going to do paint because there's already so much texture in here that, um, and I'm going to be putting some real moss over this anyway, so. That's very sweet, Stephanie. I agree that this is a wonderful chat room. Oh, is this over on? Um, on YouTube, yes. Yeah, and absolutely. And they help each other. We've got the best people, don't we? Yes, we do. If I do say so myself. Yeah. So there you go. Um, and again, you can just come back in. You can come in with a little bit of your light color paint. And Sandy's taking apart a lamp base and making a candle holder out of it. Oh, fun. But it's just the application of a few different layers of paint just kind of scrunched on there scumbled on there and will give you just a little bit of more interest and texture back behind where I will be putting that moss. Remember the great scumble debate of I think the great 2021 <laughs> yes, where I you accused you that it was not a real word. <laughs> There's some <laughs> a cups. I just need some water. Please. And I was wrong. And, it, and you were wrong. Man. I had to you eat. Were wrong. Not, there was egg on my face. I'll say. There was egg scumbled all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dry this. Well, 
be a lovely gift, Barbara. on the skeletons, right? Mom's trying to do it, Kat. She's struggling, but she she won't rest until she's done, I'm sure. Well, I've got now these unfinished skeletons that are adorable as anything, but I try to get paint to stick to them. It's like you almost have to spray it. Well, I ended up, I did end up um, putting, sanding these little skeletons and using uh, fusing Ultra Grip. Still not sticking. I will paint the back of this door, just not right now. Um, Linda, we found these carvable pumpkins at where, Hobby Lobby. Oh, we got one at Hobby Lobby and one at Joann's. Oh, you did find one at Joann's. Mm -hmm. um, she's having trouble finding them on Amazon. Oh, I'll shoot. see where I can find, if I can yeah. find some online. Okay, so I think um, let's go ahead and get our door on here. And again, this is not meant to be like a functioning door. We j I just wanted to add, um, I wanted to make it so that it could at least part way open, right? And the way to do that was to create a little hinge on it. There we go, see that? It's 13 inches tall enough. What do you mean? For a carvable pumpkin? Yeah, that's probably about what this is. Yeah, I see them at Michael's, Target. I'll send you, I'll give you a Michael's link. All right, now we're gonna drill the holes for our, whatchamacallits, our hinges. And I just have, I just have a small drill tip here. I have no idea the size of it. And I'm going to, you know, let me, let me drill these first. So I want, I want three sets of holes. One. Yeah, I see Target has them. Michael's is 50% off. Two. And three. So I drilled three holes. And then I'm going to line this up here. And I'm going to do right next to it on my actual pumpkin. Drill, drill, drill. All right. Now what we'll do is this is um this is like hemp cord. You could use a little leather uh, binding or leather cord. Um, want something that's not going to stretch and so I just have a big eye needle here watch me embarrass myself trying to thread this needle well you're welcome Charlotte I hope it was your favorite Tootsie Pop flavor <laughs> Kat wants to know, would alcohol ink dye the plastic? It probably would, Kat. And and that's actually <laughs> a next... <laughs> what? It's just like, I feel like today's the day of the obvious. Yeah. And, it, and us missing the obvious. I think that would be really cute, Susan. She said, would you consider this toadstool mold using clay to add more relief design? Absolutely. I think that would look super cute on these. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to add that to the collection because I love that. Would waxed thread work? Yes. You just want it to be something that's going to 
hold all of this in place. And my needle, my the eye of my needle isn't big enough. I know there are experts of you out there that are literally cringing right now. <laughs> like, she oh. makes it work. <laughs> Miss Shirley stopped by today and her she is going to be able to wear shoes again soon. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Because we have missed her. Then I'm going to come in through. Oh, you want to know if, if alcohol ink would work on the resin door cat? Or are you talking about the skeletons? I went in through the wrong way. I thought she was talking about the skeletons. But yeah, I think it would work on the resin door, right? Because it's non-porous. Mom? Oh. It, it probably would. Mm -hmm. Wow, breaking news. Charlotte only got six licks till she got to the center of her Tootsie Pop. Whoa, wow. wow. I never. That could be a record. I never get to. You never get to the center? Never. What do you do? Throw well, it away? I know. I mean, I never lick to the center. I start oh, no. biting them right no, away. I like, I, I like it to a certain amount of cr crunchiness before I bite. So I know I know what it is. I don't know how many licks that takes. It's, it's personal between me and my agency <laughs> <laughs> That would be very cute, Tamara. Put fairy transfer faces on thin plastic and glue in the windows. So cute. I mean, imagine, you can do so much with these. But the first thing we want to do is try to get this, get a string in a hole. Ah! I am really struggling here. Do you need my help? I don't know what I can do. No. Oops. Yeah, she was talking about the skeletons, yeah. And that was a great idea, Kat. Thank you. Mom. Mom only spent six hours handing them and <laughs> trying to paint them. Good Lord, that was something. All right, so here we go. I'm going to tie a square knot. Well, for those of you who have reached out and have been concerned, um, yes, Mom and I are getting our hair done tomorrow. <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> Finally! It's, uh, it's been very difficult on the family and everyone honestly that's been around us mom has to be on camera god bless her and but yes we're long overdue but things should be looking up after tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've just been flooded with emails and phone calls <laughs> about our roots and mm -hmm. just the shape of things in general but everything is okay just been illnesses vacations and then our hairdresser dared to hurt his foot i know you guys like i said i'm sure this is painful for some of you to watch as i struggle oh some of those little tim holtz mushrooms would be cute especially with this one the color of them is so oh, good yeah yeah Oh, good, Elena. You like dots. I told my husband people like dots. He was down in my shipping station one day, and he says, who gets the dots? Your worst customers? <gasps> we <laughs> have no like worst them. customers. Well, he was making a joke about dots, not about the customers. Mm. Would floral wire work? I bet that would actually Absolute. work wonderfully. You know what? <laughs> Again, everyone. <laughs> we are the obvious oh. is not obvious. To, that should be the title of today's video. When when obvious isn't obvious. Yeah. yeah. When you can't see the nose and right in front of your face. Oh boy. He is jealous, Al, you're right. Yeah, wire would be great. Yeah, would be actually Wow. <laughs> I would 
literally be perfect. <laughs> perfect. You would have had that done oh, 20 minutes gosh. ago. Oh my gosh, right? Oh my god. <laughs> you know? Holly says it's the COVID, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm telling you right now. Oh, what this said, here's a little cheat I learned hinging oh, the doors. Oh, no. Here's another. Use uh, a car chamois. Cut chamois in small rectangular strips and glue where hinges would go. Interior of a door. Works great, and it's very strong. Smart. Oh, Liz. Another. That's not, that's less obvious, but a, and a great tip. Well, you know, I was thinking, like, if I was a fairy... <laughs> What would I have access to? Kelly said, how many experts have made a pumpkin fairy house, though? That's right. Kelly says, push it through with the end of a paintbrush. Please, she's begging. <laughs> it is probably excruciating to watch. I did. <laughs> Stephanie said, I don't have your patience. I would use a strip of suede. Well, there you go. There's another. And she has an old full-length skirt from the 70s she could get it from. Now you're just bragging, Stephanie. Crafts with COVID brain, yes, that should be the title. Yep, I'm I'm about to. Uh, uh, Leah, maybe you don't get a Tootsie Roll in your order, but you do get the last bite of the coffee crisp. Now, who who here can say that? Who said to push this? <laughs> And you can grab a handful of candy from my desk anytime, Miss Leah. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is agonizing. And we're at an hour. Oh <laughs> golly. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with this one. We're gonna do that one. I'll I'll do that one. That uh, shiny idea is definitely it's a, a great idea. It's a idea. great idea. And so you can paint it. Yeah. So what I did here, you guys, is I ended up um I kind of positioned these guys into place, right? And I, I dabbed a little hot glue in the holes here just to make sure everything stayed in place. Keep those fairies in there. Okay. <laughs> and then that's when I took the I took this with my tight bond quick and thick and I real I glued it right over top of these hinge strings. I bet the fairies that live in Indiana can't um, acclimate to the climate. But look how cute, okay? And then, yes, you can either um, take your Portobello Road or... I want to see that. Well, I, I, we're, we're, our time is really getting... Well, that would make it faster, I think. Than no, I just want to show basically what I did is I just did this. Portobello Road would be cooler. <laughs> Karen said, Lynn, you can do the most fabulous projects and to see you struggle with this is killing me. <laughs> it's probably actually kind of fun. Will there be a part two? It depends. How long are you willing to stay? Do we need to do a part two or can we just finish it? Anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I would glue that right over top. Karen, Aunt Karen wants to know if you're also going to make furniture for the inside. No, no, <laughs> you guys, I'm so like over this. Oh, it's so cute though. It is cute. It really is. It's adorable. It's just really bothering me about that. That um, you didn't think of the floral wear? Yeah, that, and that I can't seem to get that hinge because it's like the one unfinished thing that's just driving me crazy. Yeah. Oh, because I do want to. <laughs> Kelly said, can't fairies just fly through the window holes? Anyway? They should be able to. <laughs> Let me tell you what. But any, it's for their guests. It's for their guests. Any fairy that wants to. Aunt Karen's begging you to make furniture. No. And everyone wants you to keep going. And Aunt Karen, on top of that, she wants you to make a Christmas one for elves. Oh, my gosh. Which would be actually very cute. Mm -hmm. Tracy said, leave it for the fairies to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know, right? Well, yeah, I'm, on the, I'm on the last hole, and I can't feel my way 
in there. Shannon said, drill a slightly larger hole. So, I'm guys, changing the name of this to COVID brain. So here's the thing. You guys, please keep this in mind. I am really good at like like the structural stuff. It's, or, you know, like design. layout and design, design and ideas. But man, sometimes when it comes to execution, I am just not. Here's another good idea. Holly said put some tape on that end of the string and push it through. Well, I did. I put some um, spit. No, I put some hot glue on it. Wow. It's just... Thank God for this community of people. It's literally... Of, fairies, I, of these fairies helping us. I can't... I just can't get it through that other... That last hole. <laughs> and I'm really struggling. It's riveting to watch. I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm literally about to People are begging this. you to tape the end of that string. All right. Deborah is definitely going to use decorative hinges. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you need some little scotch tape? That might be better. I don't know, Megan. Oh, you guys, I was really looking forward to sharing this with you. Everyone's today. loving it. And again, you don't think it's nice for them to see that you're not perfect and that they even have ideas that can help you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. I can see my hole right through there. All right. Yeah, I bet you guys are enjoying this, aren't you? God forbid you can find some scotch tape. I got it. I got it. Oh. I just realized I was looking in office supplies when I should have been looking at adhesives. Yeah. So that's on me. Mm hmm. Everyone loves it. Thanks, everyone. Kat also said you could use a yarn needle to get through or a tight bond to stiffen it. Yep. A lot of, now we all know the ways that we should do it, okay? Karen's going to use an upholstery needle. Well, and you know what? That's what I should have done. I should have grabbed my upholstery needle. And and also some um, floral wire. Or some and floral also wire. A, sham, a car chamois cut into strips. Yep. There's a lot of things. Yeah. But now we all know that. Isn't that what's so great about doing this? Yeah. We're all learning here. It was the bigger whole thing, Shannon Booth. You're right, Liz. That was, mm -hmm. that was it. <laughs> Sandy, I, honestly, that's a great idea. She said, cut the door in two, glue the bottom half shut, and make a Dutch door <laughs> since the top is hinged. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Whoops. Smart. A little Dutch door would be cute. It'd be so cute. <laughs> I promise you, it really is cute when it's done. It's cute right now. Even when you were struggling to put that hinge on, it was cute. And they can see how cute <laughs> and darling it really is. How cute Because darling. your little orange one is so cute. What's that? The little orange one turned out so cute. It did, yeah. I'm just going to clean up my excess glue here. Do you want to get out that brick portobello? You want me to open the stamp? Sure, yeah. why not? Um, Joanne's saying that COVID brain is real, and not only that, but after she had it, she could not muster up the enthusiasm or energy to do anything creative, so you're doing great. Oh, I'm telling you right now, that's how I'm feeling right now. Well, yeah, but you're still making really cool stuff, so you should be proud. You're doing amazing, sweetie. 
Okay. But there you go. I mean, you got the, the, the gist of it and how I ended up putting this together, which is important. Which one do you want? This brick or this brick? The big one. This is such a great stamp. There's so many. Oh, I can't wait to actually use it, you know, to oh. actually use it yeah. with ink. Let's see if that would, would do it. Sandy said, I know you're frustrated, but this is amazing as usual. Yeah, it's really not showing up. Okay, that's a bummer. Yeah, so I think we got to go. I wonder if you did it like on a harder surface. It's kind of squishing into the glue. Maybe, but I still think um, that... Stephanie could see a staircase going up to the door. Well, sure, with that little stone. So, yeah, stone. She just said little cobblestone. Yeah. yeah. That would be Absolutely. so Absolutely, yeah. And someone would like to see if you do make a Dutch door, a little tiny pie. Who said I was making a Dutch door? <laughs> but I can see why they said a Dutch door, because at first you only had the first two hinges. So it's just like, just cut the door in half and make a Dutch I door. I know, right? And then put a little tiny pie on there to cool. <laughs> so I'm just using this tongue depressor to create kind of a brick ish look you're right this would have been a good online class oh my gosh you guys see i just give too much here don't i this is a good one there and also we're learning yeah a lot here but don't worry everything for the shadow box she planned before she had covid so you'll be getting <laughs> top quality content <laughs> There's one item that we don't have the restock of because I. Oh, a whole village, yeah, it would be so cute. Like make a new one every year to <gasps> add to it. Oh, how cute would that be? Even decoupaged. Mm hmm. Tracy said she used the Portobello road stamp to add some stonework to the paper mate. Mache houses from Halloween last Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Tracy said she can't imagine doing this live on camera. You're doing great. She Thank is. you, Tracy. All right. Let's, let's, um. And look how she just did that with a popsicle stick. Amazing. Yep, little acorn people. Yep. Oh my gosh, really? crust on that. Aunt Karen said, quick, the fairy flew out when you opened the door. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she's making the home nice enough that they want to come back. Yeah. All right. So let's give this a little finish. Um, and again, this should be done in stages. So like I would in in my real world what i would do is i would let this completely dry and paint it just like i painted the door okay little felt mice would be really cute yeah but what um, i want to show you is how that this is just clear wax because then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some dark wax on what so Karen's asking if we sell, oops. 
do we sell the colored plastic stuff for the windows? And if not, where would she get that? She says, of course, I don't know what to call it. Well, there's mica. Uh, we have mica tiles, which is, it's not colored, but it's it's a neutral color. We don't sell that. No. Mm -hmm. but you it's on our, it's in our Amazon. Yeah, in our Amazon store, yeah. Oops. I'm excited for class tonight too, Elena. It's going to be so fun. Window boxes would be cute. Oh my gosh. That would you be could extreme. totally. With those little Tim Holtz flowers to dye them oh, with the mica spray. Seriously. <gasps> a little window box would be so cute. I know. Adorable. See, people do like dots. If you don't like them, you can always add a note to your order and let me know to make sure you don't get them. That looks like black wax to me. Not it's not. It is dark wax. Okay. It always looks dark when it first comes Good question. Leah wants to know if you could use alcohol inks to stain the mica sheets. Uh, yeah, you probably could. Yeah. Or just, you know, I'll tell you another thing I recently got are acetate sheets. Um, and those you can dye with alcohol inks. That's cool. Maybe we should add that to our Amazon yeah. list. So yeah, I'm kind of going in in a backwards order here because my my clay um, door trim is obviously not dry. It's hard to know, like, okay, what should I do ahead of time so that I can show you. And obviously, this is not something that I could do ahead of time with, like, the door because I glued the strings underneath. Mm. Okay. So what I would do now is... I would now just add some trim bits to this and I'm going to put my stem on. I'm going to trim out the windows. Nice amount of glue here to let this settle in there. And we'll give it I just grabbed a bunch of dried stuff from my dried stuff bag. Oh yeah, from your dried stuff bag. Mm -hmm. Does everyone have that? Probably they do. I mean, this is not a, a these are not pumpkin leaves, but Fairies can decorate their houses with whatever they like. Yeah, they sure can. You're just going to go out into the forest. Yes. And forage. Yep. Oh, Cheryl, Cheryl I've been dying to see your Halloween decorating. Oh, Cheryl Macedo? Yep. I know. She's been listening but not watching. I mean, come on, just... This, this is where then you can totally get like so do such fun stuff. Oh, Deborah, if you have an order that I haven't fulfilled yet and you want to add something to it, just place another order and add a note that you'd like me to combine, and then I can combine them and refund your shipping. All right. So last. Hey, Joyce. I'm going to... And Melissa does have a bag of dried stuff. I bet she does. Okay, so I have my little, my other little stick somewhere here. Do you see 
my other little straight stick. There it is. Could you use dark and decrepit instead of black wax? Yes. Yeah, this is actually dark wax is what this is. Mm -hmm. It would have a similar effect, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yep. And we'll just glue. Yes, little, please send me pictures, Cheryl. Some little bits. Little twigs around the, the door. Or the windows, I'm sorry. makes me it just makes me giggle I'm telling you when we end up doing this little stuff I can't believe you guys are still oh, look at how cute is that how cute is that oh So we do have our Halloween spooktacular coming on the 30th. October 30th, yep. And we will be um, at 6 o'clock. Yep. We'll be an all special live where we will be decorating a haunted house. Decorating a haunted house. And I'll send out, I'll have mom send out in our text group um, a drink and a dip recipe. I need to prepare for that. That's the day after dome. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I need to do that in the morning, which I won't be awake in the morning, hopefully. I know the windows with the lights on will be very cute. Really? Melissa Jacobson said, I am a bag of dried stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <gasps> Melissa said, my pumpkin in the urn from last year just sold. She's so happy. That's oh, awesome. that's awesome. Yay. Oh, Tracy, sorry. Dome is the New York State Field Band competition. It's held in the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. So all the band season leads up to that. And big day for the kids and a long day and we usually don't get back to like 3 a.m it's a big day i yes. and you know what i just we have never missed one and i just don't think i can make it this year no it's sad you haven't even seen them march once this year i don't yeah think. i did i saw them at the oh yes school. you were at the home yeah. show that's right yeah it's been wild all right well We can um, get a little bit of this on here. That fresco is looking so cool the way it's naturally cracking, too. I know. Yeah, being a band mom is a lifestyle for sure, especially <laughs> during the field band season. It will feel weird when it's over. <clears throat> My kids are so spread apart. I started when Jonathan was in seventh grade, and he's now 23, and there has not been one year. There was one year in between when August finished and when Levon started, and then my niece Sophia was doing it. So I mm -hmm. chaperoned for her, so I have been really been it's crazy, doing it a long it? time. It is crazy. It's been a lot of years of... Where can we find the video for the pumpkin in the urn? Was that an online class? It was an online class. So let me see if I can get you a link to that. That was fun. Yes, there it is. Very pop. That was a very popular one. It sure was. 
need to revisit that and do a one for the holidays. Like a Christmassy one? Mm -hmm. I always thought it would. Well, I guess we've done that kind of. Remember back we did in the, the lemons. Well, I was just thinking like with ornaments to make some kind of topiary on the dome. But we did a top. We could do that actually because we did a we, long ago. We did that Christmas tree. Yeah, that was an in-person class, but you could do something with an urn that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, with the uh, oh, hi Maureen. You know what? With um, the ornament mold. Yes. Last year. Mm -hmm. And like, um, you could use the pigment fix and the metal, um, those would be, that would be cool. And the chrome effects, like a mix of those to get different shiny and, stuff going on. And my new stencil learn. Now, or now we're talking, now we're cooking stencil. with gas. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. All oh, right, you, you are guys. mom in Auburn, Susan. Very cool. Can we have a few more dried bits? What class is Auburn? We're small school one. Melissa's well, using the other half of her pumpkin now for another project. Well, I'm really envisioning that urn with the ornaments now, Mom. I am too. You're just full of great ideas, aren't you? Honestly, today. So I had some uh, little green moss, like the little spongy moss that, I don't know where I put it. I That's awesome, it. Stephanie. I love when the marching band people come out of the woodwork on here when I mention it. <laughs> it's a life changer, I think, for people. Mm -hmm. And well into their adulthood, they it has an effect. But yeah, oh, couldn't you? Oh, Megan, get me some Tim Holtz toadstools, please. Mm -hmm. Even oh. the little candles in the windows. I know, you really could. Yes. It seems like you should be using these little tiny barrels somehow. <laughs> I know, there's just so much. And these tiny urns. We don't have any, we only have a couple of tiny urns left. They are gone, gone, gone. I mean, I got feathers here stuck to my fingers. And I agree, Melissa, that music makes for wonderful adults, and we're very lucky in a small town, and it's a pretty poor um, county that we're in, that our school, it's very important in our community, and we haven't let go of that music program. Very, very, very grateful for it. Mm -hmm. And right now, Levon, Levon plays the tuba in the marching band, trombone in the jazz band, and right now he's with my brother, Ben, learning how to play guitar. I know the moss does make it. I love the leaves on the top of this one too. Mm -hmm. So the only difference between the dark resin and the clear resin is the color. That's it, right mom? The dark resin, the tan, yeah, tan and white. Yep. yep. And you know that was hot glue she was using in the center just to create a barrier to mm -hmm. make the hole in the window that wasn't resin. Yeah, that tan resin was throwing everyone for a loop. I bet. Oh, that's so cute. You're a little out of frame, but so you'll have to show that from the top. Oh my gosh. Q 
cute, cute as can be. Wow, when Tommy was in marching band, they got to go to the got to go to Hawaii and play in a parade there. Really? We got to go to Disney World one year, and that was, that was exciting. So awesome. Mom came there. Mm -hmm. That was so awesome. Well, there it is, you guys. I hope that this uh, satisfied your. Do you want to light it up? Very. Those are probably not charged, are they? I use these little uh, USB rechargeable flicker lights. I mean, come on. Oh, That's so cute. Really adorable. Oh, I think I like this one better than the first one. You should show them together because I think together they'll look super cute. Oh, it's, I'll take a picture because it's just hard to get an angle. Yeah. Going well, maybe here. when you set them behind you and when you finish. Yeah. And turn okay. the camera around. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, let me put it up here. Oh, oh wow. my gosh, that is so cute, Mom. I, that was I well worth one. it. I love this one. You gotta turn the yes, turn the camera around, maybe. I this one I don't have charged. But do you um, want to stick this one in there for now? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put a little wreath around the door. You want this? I don't know if you guys can see those. I'm trying to stay out of the way. Oh, wow, those are cute, Mama. Really? Well really done. Really cute. Well done. So cute. I know, get a drink ready for mom, I know. Oh my gosh, I know, I feel like I need something, man. And we got class tonight. We do. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. I think together they just look amazing. They do. They're really, really, really cute. You've outdone yourself once again. Oh, how adorable is that, you guys? Truly. Really, really cute. Well, that's it. That's it. We did it. Yep. Um, an hour and 30 minutes later. So we will see you tonight for our shadow box class at 6, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. um, if you are having any trouble getting in, just email me. I'm here. I'll be checking my emails up right up until we go live. Info at lnjgoods.com. And remember, even if you weren't there for the first session, that's okay. You can join now and you still have access to that content. And then join us for the next three. Uh, I added a link to that. And it's the pinned comment on Facebook. Um, I'll also add it to the collection today because we would love to have more of you join us. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait. Do you want to nice. show that shadow box real quick? Well, this was our... This that's was the our Halloween. Halloween. This is the Halloween one. And tonight we're doing a winter scene yeah um i'm what's very really excited. cool is these panels are completely removable and so we'll be building out another layered scene that will go on here for winter and where you and see the pumpkin lady in the back she pops out a little wooden ladder would be cute you're right oh for sure yeah now these panels See, that pops out are made to just pop out and then we do a different panel for a background we it comes with four panels but like um i think it was corinne said she's going to do even the backs of them so you could yeah. have even so more options flip them over do something on the back side Love and that. have even more but we've yeah. done oh my gosh this was the one that i showed i demoed this one way back when we first announced yeah the um the class but oh i'm so excited to yeah. um to do tonight because it's going to be really fun and i think it's like 20 something dollars for all four 20, sessions yeah 28.95 yeah. and it's four sessions so there's fall 
or there's a Halloween, yes. a winter, there is a spring, summer, and then an everyday with lots of different ways to use um, to use these wonderful shadow boxes. And so. you get access to the not only the content, but I think even even more importantly, that private group where you can share with each other in a way that you can't hear mm -hmm. in the comments on one of our videos. In these private groups, you can share pictures of your work and get to know each yeah, other much better. And, and we do really have our, our journal, our Christmas journal class coming up. Yes. Um, another fun one that I think is going to, it's so cool. It's such a cool, cool little journal project that I think that you guys will really get a kick out of it. Yes, we can even, we can show you more about that on Friday. Yeah. yeah. All right, folks, thank you for hanging in there for this extra long and, and for, very special. For all of your help. And for Honestly. all of your help. So many good ideas. So many good ideas, Truly. Megan. So yes. thank you, you guys. Have a wonderful Monday. For many of you, we'll see you in the group tonight. Um, and if not, we'll see you on Friday. Yes. Take care. Bye. Those are so cute. They're so cute.